This is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Quiet yourself. We're here to help. Help? Had enough help. I complain about a fight and suddenly I'm an agent or something. You were the one with the rumor out of Vachelle. My friend. You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. Son of a bitch. Somebody's going to die. I don't think so, pal. Tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheathe our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this like business. Don't believe this piss bag. He started it. And the funny thing is, I believe one of two the two winners of the voice over contest voices this gnome. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmon. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason. After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. You want to talk now, but Sarah is my ally. You attacked her friends. Come now. You know how much her meddling cost me because apparently you were complicit honestly previous to this very moment i thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies you're of noble birth and as inquisitor you are more than a peer i attacked them on behalf of us both really ass biscuit <sighs> quiet inquisitor herald i don't want to be your enemy i'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. No! Nope. You were up to something in Vachelle, Harmon. What was it? If you mean bettering my wealth and position, I'm always seeking that. By getting people hurt? <sighs> Lady Shell Morveau and I were jockeying for the land south of Vershell. To claim land, you must populate it. My people encouraged hers to leave. Her people answered in kind, etc. Really, it was all a terribly standard displacement until your troops seemed to change the balance. Well played. Stop talking to him. Really, just stop it. I need to know what he's saying. But, uh, yeah, this is the person who won the voice acting contest. They did a phenomenal job voicing this character. The servants you killed, they did nothing except talk about what was going on. You killed my contacts. My friends. That is entirely true. Well, that should be that, then. You're the one who empowered them, made their complaints a threat. Perhaps you should have warned them about talking to you. Tell the snot splash no already. Not saying again. Yeah, I'm not gonna go any further. Damn. I don't want Sarah to kill him. But I don't want him to just get away. Shit. Because, I mean, he's a, a bad man. He is the reason why a lot of people got hurt and killed. She better can't do anything else as far as judgment. Screw it. You know what, Sarah? Do it. Uh, 
Now, what was the point of that? Mother, puss bucket, friggin' bastard, shite bag, piss face. Eat it, you lop -eared son of an arse nut, rock Sarah. piece of. Sarah! Uh, what? <laughs> He's done. You're done. Relax. It's over. He said. Friends, Inquisitor. Better than his lot any day. So she still killed him. But that was definitely a more interesting way than I thought she was going to. When she threw that knife, I thought she actually was just gonna die in a rate in the chest. But it was funny how just she purposely had it to where it was gonna fall flat, because if she wanted to kill him, she more than likely could have. But instead, just kind of threw him off guard so she can get him down and start beating his face and with her knee. Again, unfortunate, because I really wish there could have been another decision to maybe jail him or do something about it. But if it was either to have him killed or simply walk away, I couldn't just let him walk away because then he would continue on his douchey path of hurting people that are lesser in his eyes. And we can't have that. Hey you. Know what? Thanks. Felt good to stomp the smile off that pisshead's face. It doesn't go bad like that often, yeah? But when it does, they deserve it. Risky, but keep it within the Inquisition and I'll support you. Even though this puckered around us? Even so. Well, good then. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that. Exceptions. Thing you're doing right there. <laughs> we'll have some differences, but I want to be one of your friends. You're pretty big to be one of my contacts. Important, I mean, not fat. But all right, Inquisitor. You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. Back, yeah? Always good. Mm. Is your network of contacts still active after what happened? After Lord Arsol and Vichel? Of course. He may have killed people, but that just means there's more who hate him. It's crap that he killed people, though. They were just trying to stand up a little. We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? It helped make a dead idiot. That's good return for time. I don't get what's so hard to understand. Your stuff works the same. Your Inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they asked, or let them think they asked. They like it even more. It's inspiring, even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. <laughs> that is a fair point. I get it, kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. At least my baddies are understandable. No kicking in the sky there. <laughs> we'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? See, and that's the reason why I really love Sarah as a character. Because she sticks up for the little people. The people that almost nobody even recognizes or even sees. And she kind of cares for them in her own weird way. Never trust half an elf. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Goodbye. Nothing from him. We drop. All right, what we need to do now. Let's head to the Storm Coast and fulfill the demands of the Cune. Oh, and I guess also take care of the dark spawn while we're at it. Um, wait, no, there's demands of the cune. Okay. Hmm. The closest location would be here, by the looks of it. Or no, I guess maybe we could probably trek from here. Definitely want iron bowl for the sake of this mission. Dorian, 
and Colt. So that means we got two two-handers, so we have no tank, unfortunately. Uh, I'm pretty sure we should at least be able to survive through it. We can kick a lot of ass, take a lot of names. Not too worried. Let's see if we can go ahead and strike a uh, alliance with the Canari. Because, unlike the way you see them in Dragon Age 2, the Canari people are not necessarily bad. Their belief system is different, just like even in our real world, everybody has a bunch of different belief systems. And differences in belief does not necessarily make any one person inherently bad or evil or even wrong. It's all just a matter of what we believe in, and it's all just a matter of perception. All right. Our Kunari contacts should be here to meet us. He is? Good to see you again, Hisrod. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrod's reports say you're doing good work. Einbull's name is Hisrod. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinter is dangerous enough without the influence of this Venatori cult. Yes. Filthy, decadent brutes, the lot of them. I'm certain life would be much better for all of us under the Kyun. It was for me, after the Canari rescued me from slavery in Tevinter. I was eight. The Kyun isn't perfect, but it gave me a better life. Yes, one free from all that pointless free will and independent thought. Such an improvement. This is part of the reason why I brought Dorian, because there's a whole conflicting views on the subject. Now, Tevinter does have slavery, which is screwed up. I mean, there's no two ways about it. But there's also a lot of people that feel that the Kuhn, uh, the Kuhn is way too strict because you are basically given a job. You either do it or you don't. And if you choose not to, uh, you kind of get in trouble. And you either get reprogrammed or you have the option of becoming Talvashov, which is uh, going to get you killed. So either way, it doesn't work out very well if you don't choose to stick to it. But, uh, yeah, neither side is perfect, because they both definitely have their flaws. The Imperium and the Kunari both have their problems. Fair enough, I suppose. I'm not here to convert anyone. All I care about is stopping this red lyrium from reaching Minrathos. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose the Heron and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatori mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. What do you think, Bull? <sighs> Don't know. I've never liked covering a Dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? <laughs> I just like the glare that Iron Bull just shot. I'm like, really? Really? There might be Venatory mages on the ship as well. The Dreadnought can't handle them. It's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. So we kind of already have an idea of how this is going to go down, based on the way they're kind of framing this. If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. 
they'd schedule a new shipment for later, and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes, but it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. Let's do it. Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. Speak to Gap a little bit more. Just waiting on you and his rod, or Iron Bull, I guess. You knew Iron Bull back when he fought in Sahara? Yes. He led the group that freed me. I was a Magister's slave, and when the Magister went to Saharon, he brought me along. For company. Iron Bull and his men attacked my master's ship and killed him, as well as his soldiers. Bull set me free. And you decided to start following the Kuhn after that? What do you think? I just watched a giant horned warrior kill the Magister who hurt me. He never told me about this. One of the few things he hasn't shared with you, I gather. Sure, Bull. Share the secret Ben Hasrath reports, but keep that bit where you save the elf boy to yourself. Is Bull going to get in trouble for passing those reports on? The Ben Hasrath aren't pleased with how forthcoming Bull has been. But he was one of their best agents. He kept the streets clean in Saharan longer than anyone before him or after. He fought until it nearly killed him. The Ben Hasrath trust him enough to accept how he joined the Inquisition, even if they don't like it. Besides... They hate to discard a tool that might still have some use left in it. That's why I have a job. It sounds like following the Kuhn hasn't always been easy. I had a temper. Bull's nickname for me, Gat, comes from Gatlock, the explosive power in Canary Cannons. I was so angry when I was first freed. I wanted revenge. I wanted to find my family who were still enslaved in Minrathos. I thought about leaving when the Kuhn didn't tell me what I wanted to hear. But I didn't. Why not? The Canari were always ready to listen, to teach. They cared for me as much as one of their own. And if I leave, the parts of the Kion that I don't like are never going to change. How did an elf end up working for the Kunari out here? The Ben Hasrath usually pick elves or humans to work outside of Kunandar. We're a little harder to spot. I've worked in Ole and Navara, but only for a few years now. What did you do before that? When I was old enough, I fought to Vinter Forces in Sahara. I was too angry to do much else. It took me a long time to accept the Kuhn, to get past justice, to purpose. Some days are still difficult. No one's actually detailed how an alliance with the Kunari will help the Inquisition. The answer to that is above my rank. But the Kunari don't really bargain. They don't know how. I doubt you want Kunari troops stomping around your stronghold. And you're too far away for supplies to be useful. You get more use out of our ships, I imagine. And the agents we've got spread across Thedas. We know a lot more than what Bull sees in those reports he's been forwarding to your spy master. Hmm. Do you have a minute to talk about the cure? I'm a spy inquisitor, not a teacher. I'm not interested in converting anyone or debating the philosophy. But I suppose it would make for an interesting report to hear the inquisitor's opinion of the cure. To be honest, I don't really understand enough of the Kuhn to judge it. I think you have to be raised under the Kuhn for it ever to make sense. The people who join as adults either end up unhappy or... Well, for many, it's just a kind of form of slavery. I like the simplicity. I like knowing my place and knowing that it's the right place. Other parts I've struggled with myself. Hmm. See? I'll let you know when we're ready. I await your pleasure, Inquisitor. Again, that's the interesting concept of it that I discussed before. But we need to Once keep they're going. down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start, but don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. We've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage! Get in close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just... Pay attention, all right? The Vince want this Red Lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, Chief. 
All right, Chargers. Horns up. Horns up. Ready whenever you are, boss. Let's make it happen. I'm ready to head out, Bull. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move. So now we're you gave we your it. charges the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship, it's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then, just like old times. <laughs> uh, so we're supposed to go there. Okay. Can't get over this invisible wall? Are you kidding me? Still an invisible wall. Alright, fine. Guess we're going around. I still don't see the reason why we couldn't have just hopped over that, but it is what it is. Be careful. My agent said to expect opposition ahead of the main camp. We've all done this a few times, Gat. You've been living outside the Kuhn for years now, Iron Bull. Just wanted to make sure your reflexes hadn't gotten as soft as the rest of you. Oh. Ouch. Oops. Right, run! Iron Bull's reports say you're a demon. I'm trying not to be. Sometimes it's hard. I want to kill a lot of people, but, but I don't. Because the Inquisitors bound you? Because it's not right. Bull, how can you work with a demon? He's all right. Oh, uh, here we go, judging my party. I definitely need to focus on killing this asshole first. No! Say that loud. No, 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 wrong person, wrong person. Focus on him. There you go. No. Where'd he go? Did he just fall? No, he ran away. Battle loot. This one good. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all we can loot. Signal for the dreadnought. We're clear, Gat. Right, signaling the dreadnought. Chargers already sent theirs up. See them down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the dreadnought. That brings back memories. Boom! It's down! <laughs> nice one. Crap. See? And of course, things can't always just go as simple as you want them to. They've still got time to fall back if you signal them now. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashoth. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashoth. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. <sighs> I 
Now this, to me, is one of the hardest decisions that had to be made in Inquisition. Because you have to go ahead... You, Iron Bull doesn't even get to make the choice, and he's the one that has to feel the consequences of the actions. You're the one that has to decide what's right. So you can go ahead and choose to go ahead and continue with the Alliance at the cost of Iron Bull's, Bull's chargers. That means, you know, Krem, Grim, Dalish, all of them. His family. They are his family. Killed for the sake of the greater good of an alliance with the Kuhn. And it... Strategically and military-wise, that's the sound decision to make. That's why you always have the constant arguments of, you know, logic over emotion and what's considered to be more important. But once again, Bull's Chargers are Bull's family. It's choosing your people over your family. And I know most people, at least myself, would choose family over people or their people or religion or belief system. So I'm going to say, uh, Dreadnought's going down, save the Chargers. Call the retreat. Don't. They are falling back. All these years, Hisrod, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? I regret that we couldn't protect the Dreadnought. So do I. Oh shit, and the mages are just completely... No way they'll get out of range. Won't be long now. Bull, when the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. Come on, let's get back to my boys. That's still... To me, that's even harder than... The choice between Hawk or whoever your warden may be, especially if it's Alistair, because... Although that decision kind of affects you as the player, because again, you've come to know and love those two choices, or at least one of those choices, this is a lot more difficult given just, again, the the feelings behind it, or even just the logic, or any of those different things. It's, it's a huge kind of philosophical, or even just, in some cases, based on the person, a moral quandary that you kind of are faced with. And again, you're making the decision for somebody else. You're making the decision of somebody's, uh, somebody else's lives over situation inquisitor it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples nor will you be receiving any more ben hasras reports from your talvishoff ally you under orders to kill me gat no the ben hasrath have already lost one good man they'd rather not lose two so much for that You're right, Bull. Yeah. Guess I'll have more free time without having to write all those reports. Bull. Boss, let me have this one, all right? This one needs to be mine. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. Good to see you, Inquisitor. See, I just can't imagine Krem and the other Chargers not being around. Because even after drinking with them and get to know them, to my character, to even me as a player, they have also become family and people that are important. And you just don't turn your back on those people. How did the charges come out of the fight? Just fine. Thanks to you and the Chief, we had plenty of time to fall back. The Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sack mead for the charges tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. 
Sorry, Chief. <laughs> Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. There's also just such a fantastic job on Fairy Prince Jr.'s part, just being able to voice Iron Bull, and in the animators, just being able to see the facial expressions as Bull was dealing with that situation. It's just also very well done, which is part of the reason why I'm such a huge fanboy of Bioware and the Dragon Age series in itself. You wanted to see me? Boom! I got it! He bossed this sala Talfa soft. Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so. Ah. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. You knew the assassins were coming. Little change in the guard rotation tipped me off. Are you all right? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. <laughs> what if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek, liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. I hoped the Ben Hasrath would let you go. They did. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talva Shoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. Oh, I can't say, say, still say you're still you without being romantic. Why can't it be bromantic? Tell Cullen and Leliana what happened. We'll tighten security. Will do, boss. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. It makes everything feel right. Oh, that's a job. Speak black wall. Inquisitor. Nope. <sighs> Let's sell some stuff. Your worship. Um. Grand Chancers, nobody can use yet because we're not level 15. This one we can get rid of though. Boom, boom, boom. Mm. Oh, nice. That's right. We get the Dread Helmet for Iron Bull. So who would get strong enduring armor? I'll have to check it out. Take some time. So if you want to equip Iron Bolt, that new helmet. Yeah, see much better. Uh, Cole got him a better hat, I believe. Yep. See, I have strong enduring dragon armor, but who's that for? Did I make that for me? Oh, well, for some reason I don't even have armor. That's nice. That's right. I was fighting without armor and didn't even realize it. I don't know why the armor was taken off, though. That's kind of weird. Oh, it is what it is. It's back on now. If you say so. Uh... 
Inquisitor's uh, Path. We don't want to do that just yet. Uh, we'll do well shit. Range of favor. Charge hold at the war table. And the Shrine of Dumont. Those are the things we want to continue with. So we, didn't need, we definitely need to go to the war table because I know, I think at least Josephine had finished hers. Maybe not the others. looking like but overall I think I got pretty close to my facial features you can see I was constantly looking at the phone and all that other good stuff but uh, let's continue <laughs> 